Hi, I'm so happy to see you in Shamapte and it's so good to have you here. And today I have my favorite winter cleansers. Yay to that. I have tried many cleansers and it was so difficult to boil it down to this number. I thought of giving you like 10 options but it kept on increasing. Now it is at whatsoever number but yeah i know i don't want to increase it further so i'm stopping it here but if you want more recommendations i have videos all over my channel but yeah these are the things that can work really well when it comes to cleansing and i have tried to pick the cleansers for various skin concerns and i really hope it helps you out this recommendation so yeah now let's start so first i'm gonna start with first cleansers so that you use during the evening time mostly to remove your uh, makeup, sunscreen, dirt more effectively. You use this before second cleanser. Many people think that first cleansers are only for removing makeup. This is not true. You can use this even if you're not wearing makeup. I have noticed when I use first cleanser, my skin feels softer and more glowy. And especially for winter, I think it can be really beneficial to nourish your skin. Many people think people with oily skin cannot use oil based cleanser. This is not true. They can use it. This can work for all skin types. They are cleansing oils, balms, lotions with different textures and uh, formulations to choose from. But if you have fungal acne prone skin, you may find micellar water to be more helpful. So now let's get into the recommendations. I have really good options and the first one would be from Inside In, their Oat uh, Cleansing Balm. This is the best cleansing balm I have ever used from any Indian brand. The texture is so nice, the ingredients are really good and I think for winter time it's gonna be super awesome. It is just so good at its job, it emulsifies well. If you're looking for a very good nourishing, soothing, cleansing balm, this can be your pick. It can work for all skin types but I do think people from normal to dry skin would enjoy this the most. Another thing, it leaves slightly moisture filled behind but it goes away with the second cleanser so yeah very good stuff this is very free next cleansing balm i recommend is from the construct this is the new soothing cleansing balm this one is very nice if you have used pulse cleansing balm the texture is somewhat similar to that but this one is a bit thicker but i recommend to you the construct one over pulp because i think this is more affordable I like the Construct's ingredients more and the performance was better at least for me so yeah the Construct I pick. If you're looking for lighter consistency than Inside In's cleansing balm then you go for the Construct's one. But one thing I don't like about this cleansing balm that it sometimes sting my eyes. This is the thing I don't like about this except that this is quite nice. And the next cleansing balm I have is from a like Korean brand. This is Chosun. So this is way expensive than the other two cleansing balms I have mentioned. But this is the lightest, the texture wise. Doesn't leave any moisture film. So if you want that, you can go for this one from Chosun. And see if you are a fan of Clinics, take a day of cleansing balm. I'd recommend you to use this one, this Johnson cleansing balm instead because it works better, the ingredients are better and yeah, I think I'm gonna like this more to be very honest. So yeah, this is a very good thing if you want to invest a bit more money on cleansing balm. So yeah, these are the three things, three cleansing balms I think would work for you. And this uh, Johnson one, I think it can work really well for oily skin. I mean, the texture is like I told you, it's very lightweight and it emulsifies very well. It dissolves makeup, dirt, quite effectively and then i have cleansing oil and for that right now i have i'm gonna give this one option because i still love this nutritionist cleansing oil which is not there anymore they don't make it anymore i think i tried uh, this brand conscious chemist cleansing oil which didn't work for me it was stinging my skin gave me a reaction so right now i'm gonna stick to suganda's cleansing oil this is awesome one of the best cleansing oils i have ever used so this is the squalene cleansing oil i don't have it anymore because i finished it long time back uh, but yeah now i'm talking about it i want to go back to it again because this is really lightweight it emulsifies well i think it's gonna suit all skin types 
fragrance free uh, quite affordable i mean they give sell uh, that time you're gonna get good discount so wait for that and if you're looking for a cleansing oil then i don't think you're gonna be disappointed with this one i do think it can work for acne prone skin as well all right next i have cleansing lotions and these things gonna use as morning cleanser as well and in your night and routine you can use this as first cleanser too so for that i have bioderma sensibiole this is the best cleansing milk or cleansing lotion i have ever used very good texture very gentle very soothing you're not gonna be disappointed with this one and if you want more affordable option then you can go for plums uh, aloe vera cleansing milk or cleansing lotion this one is nice too but if I have to pick one, I'm gonna pick Baderma Sensibiole. However, if I'm on a budget, I'm gonna go for Plum's uh, Cleansing Milk, Aloe Cleansing Milk. It has this scent. I don't know what it is. It smells like something cucumber or something like that. But uh, this one, Baderma one is fragrance free. All right, now I have one cleansing gel. This is from True Frog. So basically we apply this cleansing balms, oils on like dry skin. But this cleansing gel, you have to apply on oil skin for best result. And this one also very nice for winter. I think it can work really well. It has this gel kind of texture, but when it comes to in contact with water, it turns milky because of emulsification and yeah quite effective at removing makeup dots sunscreen and it feels nourishing as well but it does leave a bit moisture film but yeah good thing if you don't like you know cleansing oils balms lotions then you can try this cleansing gel and micellar water i don't use micellar water during winter to be very honest because i look for more nourishing moisturizing formulations but if your skin doesn't take well cleansing balms oils or lotions then you can stick to micellar water no issues you can try things from bioderma or garnier garnier pink micellar water that uh, one then also this brand deconstruct they have come up with a new micellar water which is very good okay so we are done with first cleansers now we're going to talk about second cleansers water-based cleansers are really important to clean any makeup or sunscreen residue or dirt or they can work on their own it's very important to clean your skin properly otherwise you're gonna get whiteheads breakouts and i prefer foam based cleanser for my evening after using a first cleanser but in this section i'm gonna have creamy cleansers as well non-foaming cleansers because many of you like that so let me start with the creamy cleansers first so for that i have like i'm gonna keep just two options first is from minimalist their oat cleanser which is very nice it has this milky texture it doesn't create any foam but frankly i like to use this kind of cleansers for my like daytime routine for nighttime i prefer foam based cleanser and another option would be uh, this conscious chemist hydro or hydrating cleanser that one is also very good it has milky texture but it foams so if you want a milky cleanser that creates foam go for this conscious chemist uh, cleanser but if you want something that doesn't uh, create foam go for the constructs uh, oat cleansers and there are other cleansers like this milky cleansers from cleanse me cleanse sure then moise uh, these are the good options and yeah you can pick anything that works for you and then i have foam based cleansers so for that first i had this one from isn't tree yeah so their green tea cleanser this is very good very soothing the texture is awesome cleanses my skin without drying love this one i know this is a bit expensive but it's gonna last for a long time but if you want more gentle formula then you can go for conscious chemist berry cleanser that is also very nice they say it is one brightening cleanser yeah it brightens my skin but for brightening cleanser i would recommend you rather this biodermas pigment bio uh, this is very good it also works on my textures i love it um, it has aha and it has this scrubbing granules as well and yet it feels so gentle doesn't dry out my skin love this one but if you're looking for a gentle formulation without you no know, exfoliating beads or something then you can go for conscious chemist uh, berry cleanser and also kaya has one soothing cleanser 
which is good you're gonna get very good discount on that that becomes quite affordable another two soothing hydrating cleanser would be from bioderma their um adoderm cleanser and there is one from dot and key their new launch their ceramide cleanser i found this two work same on my skin so you can go for either of this this can work this have this gel kind of a texture this can work for all skin types this foam oil but doesn't dry out my skin so yeah i like these things and yeah i think i'm gonna keep the list to here because we are getting like too many things you're gonna get confused now but if you want more options i'm gonna leave my recommendations down below i have made many videos on cleanses but yeah i had to boil down to limited numbers so <laughs> i came up with this and also there are other cleanses from minimalist like the aquaporin i liked it very much also this deconstruct they have one brightening cleanser that is very good as well and if you want exfoliating cleanser then minimalist they have one cleanser with glycolic acid you can try that and doctor said wish care they have cleansers with salicylic acid bha so if you want your cleansers to have bh you can try those things those cleansers are very nice and yeah i hope this video helps you out and let me know if you have any questions and if you have any confusion you can ask me i'm there and feel free to share your favorite cleansers and yeah i'm gonna see you very soon then bye bye